video we're going to look at the processing of costs in the zero accounting system we're going to look at the posting of an invoice in theory all of your costs should have invoices um, it does not matter how the invoice is paid we don't need to worry about that at the moment the only thing we're interested in is recording a cost in the accounting system accounting for it under the correct category and given that you are VAT registered, reclaiming the correct amount of VAT. Uh, the invoice we're going to look at now is from Castle Water. And if you look at this invoice, the total on the invoice is £130.87. The VAT is quite low at £5.76. VAT currently 20%. And the reason for this is that there are two elements to this invoice. There's a part for waste and a part for water. And it's only the water that has the VAT applied to it. So we're going to go back into the accounting system with the usual zero main screen. And as before, we're going to go to business and we're going to go down to bills to pay. From this screen, we can create a new bill, credit note and so on. We want a new bill. And this is very similar now to creating the basic sales invoice. We need to enter the supplier's name. If it's not there, the supplier will be created. So we're going to enter Castle Water. And we're going to select New Contact. The date on our invoice was the 27th of February 2019. I'm just going to put the due date as the same date. And the invoice number is the item that we put in here. OK, so that's the header for our data entry. We're now going to enter the total amount on this invoice, including VAT, which is £130.87. As before, we've got the currency. And now we can choose whether the amounts we're entering are tax inclusive. And the other alternatives are tax exclusive and no VAT. I'm going to choose tax exclusive for this invoice for one very simple reason. The items that were shown on our invoice are shown excluding VAT with the VAT added on a separate line. And I'm going to type exactly as it is on the invoice. We don't have to. We can put our own description in so it's more meaningful. But I'm going to type in here waste the quantity of one and this was 96 pounds 31 pence i'm going to put this down to water rates and the default on that account is 20 percent vat and you can see that the vat has been added to the amount i have typed in but we know that the vat on this item is zero rated so from the drop down we can change the default vat setting and one of the option here is zero rated expenses and now on my next line, I'm going to type in the charge for water, which was £28.80. This time I'm going to leave the 20% VAT. And as you can see, I now have £5.76 as being the VAT amount. I now have various options, save as draft, save and continue editing, etc. Approval procedures. For most of our small businesses, we're just going to click approve. It's going to enter it into the ledger. So we are shown as owing that supplier some money. It's going to account for the VAT, which will be reclaimed on the next VAT return. And it's going to put the cost on this invoice, the total being £125.11 as a cost against water. And that's it. All done.